Hello everybody and welcome to Gaming with Vindicator where we're building the city of Michaelsfjord. And in the last episode we turned this relatively sleepy seaside resort town on this island of Hamelvik into a much more of a tourist destination. So we've added in this uh, vineyard uh, industry over here. It's uh, really just farms at the moment but we might uh, add some production or producing capacity to this. And we put in this massive uh, tourist strip here, which uh, turning this island into a bit of an Ibiza or, or something like, or Miami maybe. And we're going to continue expanding today. And here's what's happening. So these massive infrastructure investments have been great. They brought all these shiny new hotels, but the owners are struggling to fill all the rooms. So the city has decided to put in a uh, cruise ship terminal, and that's likely going to go in somewhere around here. Uh, and that way we can bring in more international tourists. At the same time, the local Vineyards Association is complaining about the difficulties of getting their wine uh, to market beyond the region. And so in this episode, we're gonna focus on creating an additional cargo uh, harbor over here. So it's two harbors today, and we'll grow our export import capacity. But first, let's uh, make some adjustments to our previous builds. And the first thing I'd like to do is say thank you to uh, Daniel Erickson for providing a great name for our zoo. We had called this, um, what did we call it? Vic Hammer Zoo, I'm jumping around here. But uh, he had a really great name for a zoo that actually exists in Stockholm. And uh, we're gonna call that uh, Cole Martin Wildlife Park. All right, thank you to Daniel Erickson for that comment. And I noticed that we're not quite profitable yet. We do have a lot of infrastructure in the zoo. So what we're gonna do is just bump the ticket price up slightly, maybe to uh, 22 cells uh, per person. And we're gonna see how that goes. So we're looking at uh, 1100 income. We'll see if we can get that closer to, uh, to our expenses over here. The next thing we need to look at is our water. We are on the brink of both water and sewage uh, treatment availability. So uh, while we're over here, we're gonna head over to our industrial area and we are going to add one more of these uh, advanced eco inland water treatment plants. Very good, and then we're gonna head back to our new island, and I think it would make a lot of sense to put some new water uh, capacity on this island somewhere, uh, because uh, we want them to be self-sufficient. So, uh, we're going to go with a water tower, and we're gonna use the, the large water tower, and I think it makes sense uh, always to go on a hill, and uh, wonder if um, you know we can maybe uh, sort of take advantage of this hill here without getting too close to the residential area which is with the noise here. Hopefully the power will jump. It won't. Uh, we're gonna have to do something about that. We'll get the water connected. And rather than run an ugly power line in there, we'll just use our subtle little earthquake center here to make the power jump. Great, what's next? We've got our water covered. Um, you know, I wanna go back into historic Homelvik here and, you know, first delete some of these abandoned buildings. We, I think they're gonna come back given that uh, we've added a lot more tourists in the area. But uh, I think we have an opportunity to increase the walkability of this area and we're gonna take advantage of some of the new road assets that came with the base game update recently. And those are the two lane road with wide sidewalks. So um, let's, let's help people get around this area. So don't have a ton of traffic here. I think we can uh, justify uh, narrowing up these sidewalks. And we're gonna run this all the way in front of the train and bus stations right here. And this will be a way to, uh, you know, maybe if not in, you know, in the game mechanics, at least um, in our in our city planner mind here, uh, to uh, to improve walkability. So great, we've done that there. I wonder if actually we want to go uh, a little bit farther. No, we'll leave it there for now. We'll leave it there for now. Um, okay, actually, you know what? We'll we'll just do this one, and why not this one as well? give people a little bit more walkability. The only reason I hesitated is because I think we might put in some bus lanes or some uh, bike lanes at some point, but for now the wide sidewalks will serve us uh, just fine. Okay, another thing that I missed was a bit of walking paths behind uh, the one side of our, our seaside resorts, or at least the connections. So, uh, you know, we've got this beautiful walking path here, but it's not actually connected uh, very, um, very often. So. We're gonna have to get in here and do something about that.
That should do it. Okay, now we've got a bit more walkability behind there, which is great. What is going on here? Something, something funny happening. Okay, it's under construction. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to have a look at some of these junctions here. And I noticed that um, uh, I've seen a few little odd stop signs and whatnot. So we do want to make sure that this is a priority road. And we want to do the same exact thing on, on this one. Why I can't pick this road, I don't know. There we go. Priority road on both, but we're gonna have to fix uh, our, our, our uh, signals now. So we definitely don't need all of this stuff. I might leave that one. That can come off. Don't need one there. In fact, I think we're gonna just take that stop sign right off. And we're gonna go through here and just make sure that we don't have any funny stop signs, funny lights, probably don't need this. Okay, not sure why that would go on. Uh, turn, definitely turn that one off. We'll come across to the other side. Again, don't need a light here. It's just not justified at this stage of the, the development of this area. So we'll turn them all off and just let people flow. Here, um, I think actually we're gonna turn this off. And until we can justify it with heavier traffic, just turn all these off. I figured there might be one there. Great, we've uh, we've done some traffic management and we've uh, helped our traffic to flow a bit more. One other thing I noticed was um, we're missing a little bit of entertainment value uh, in some of the areas around the, um, the hotels here. So uh, if we take a look at that, not tourism, we want um, parks, there we go. So. Yeah, we're, we're suffering a bit here. So we're gonna want a, a couple more um, maybe plazas. And I really like the idea of putting more beach volleyball in here. And let's see what we already have here. So we do have plenty of beach volleyball. We've got in this uh, food truck plaza. We've got in the ice cream stand. You know, it wouldn't be terrible to put in one more food truck plaza toward this end. And we'll see if we can squeeze it, squeeze it in here. We'll see maybe if we have another plaza that makes sense to get in here. And there's actually a little bit of a lack of, um, of parks in this area as well. So I'm thinking, would it hurt to get in a park perhaps somewhere in here? We don't really have any open space in the, the downtown area here, somewhere you could have a festival or something like that, celebrate holidays. So let's get in a park uh, somewhere on this side as well. Great, another thing I'd like to address, there's a, <clears throat> there's a hospital zoning issue or a, a hotel zoning issue here. And if we go into just any random fence, I think we can fix this. Uh, what we're gonna do is turn everything off and we'll come, uh, we'll start the running the game again. We'll come back through here and we'll just draw a line uh, straight out and we'll have to upgrade that road. Um, we're gonna face the same thing on this side, so I'm gonna just delete that, come over here, and try to line this up as well. We'll kind of take out some of the, the zoning there. And I wanna check it all the way along to make sure, you know, like things like this aren't happening. So if I come across here and draw that to approximately there, uh, see, I've already done that behind here. I fixed the zoning, which is great. Uh, on this side, uh, yeah, I think we might actually wanna to do something about this one as well so um, I'm gonna come across and just eyeball it uh, to about there yeah and then we can come right across uh, here as well and when we want to fix a zoning like this we have to kind of upgrade a road and then downgrade it again so we're gonna uh, probably not even this road will fix it we're gonna have to go with this one and we'll just downgrade that and upgrade again to our Avenue with the bus lanes and for some reason oh I see I've got to put a fence on this side of it as well just so that it blocks the zoning from the uh, this road here so now it's not uh, perfect uh, but it's better and so we can actually just go ahead and zone some uh, hotels in here 
That way we're getting bigger hotels uh, with, a, with a larger footprint. So yeah, I'm going to delete this one and we're going to put a little bit of a fence on the other side here. Alright, well we'll take what we can get and we'll zone this out uh, as far as we can. And we'll make sure that all of these other little pieces are, um, are being taken care of. All right, I feel good about that. What's next? One of the things that I, I've never really done much of is the walking and uh, bus tours. And so let's see if we can get some of those in. And I'm curious if we can make this profitable. So I, I just watched a video earlier today from uh, another content creator called uh, Sports Monkey. And thanks for this uh, video, Sports Monkey. You've, uh, You've shown us that perhaps it makes sense to combine the bus lines with the walking tours. So the idea is that the bus lines take people from long distances, drop them off at a little area, and then it can walk around at a point of interest. So I'm gonna create a few of these little walking tours. They really don't cost anything, so I might as well. And we're just gonna put a few in, uh, in these high uh, tourism value areas and see if anybody actually uses them. So that's, that's all we're gonna do for walking tours. Again, really small little, uh, little tours. People can get out and walk and maybe check out some of the historic hotels, but the bus lines will do a little bit more. So I'm thinking it would make sense to go all the way down the coast here. And we're gonna hit, um, I don't know if we're gonna hit all of these hotels. It doesn't really make a ton of sense to do that, but um, well, let's see. All right, so that line is just gonna ping back and forth along the coast in front of the seaside hotels. It's gonna hit some of these, uh, what do you call these, uh, pavilions, and it'll just basically be a way to get uh, hotel guests from one end of the beach to the other. And we'll see what it act, how it actually works in the game mechanics. I'm wondering if it, uh, if it works or if it's kind of useless. Um, let's, uh, you know, while we're here, let's take a look at our budget and see what's happening with our tours currently. So if we look here, we're losing 532 a week. It's not much, but um, but it's not great. So hopefully this number climbs, is 300, and uh, we'll check that at the end of the episode and see how it's going there. Next thing I wanna look at is a hospital because if we check out our, um, our healthcare availability, we do have this little clinic here. We've got this, um, what do you call it, a uh, sports hall and gymnasium, but we really don't have a, any kind of real serious healthcare facility in the area. And that's uh, gonna be a problem, especially since we're growing so rapidly. So let's put in a hotel and uh, I would love to use this, this big one from, I think it's the European asset, um, but it's just not, it's not gonna fit. And I'm wondering where else we could put it, but um, I don't wanna, I kind of maybe don't want to break up that block there. So let's use the smaller one. And I think it might fit perfectly. We're gonna not face it on the arterial, uh, but I think this is a, a very uh, likely spot for that. And while we're here, let's take a look at our existing uh, uh, capacity and it's too close to the, the new hotel or the new hospital now. So uh, where do we have gaps? We're pretty okay over here. We're getting, we're getting gaps on this side, so. And I think maybe we'll just try to cover some of this here, so. Where does it make sense to plop this? Uh, I wonder on the corner here, perhaps. Good enough, wonderful. While we're at this, why don't we check how our death care is doing? And I'm not sure that I've done very much. So we do have one crematorium over here. We've got a cemetery, and how are they doing? Looks like it's fine. Uh, I, I know with the growth of this city, we're probably gonna need more. So how's this one doing? Yeah, it, it's fine. I think we're actually going to uh, just put one in on the other side, because we're gonna start putting in some high density uh, residential. And I know that's gonna really spike the demand. So let's take care of just a bit more in the way of uh, a crematorium. And uh, let's try to find those spots where there's really lacking of uh, coverage. So possibly in here. I don't want to take up too much valuable real estate, but I do think there would be value in it. Now we do have quite a lot of uh, demand for 
uh, houses and commercial. So uh, I, I'm going to look for a reasonable area to expand a residential and I'm going to go with high density. But first, before we do that, I want to make sure that we're covered for educational services. And if we look at elementary, we do have the school over here. Uh, it's doing fine. It's only about half capacity, just a little bit more. And if we look at the other ones, we've got one uh, pretty close, which is down here, which I'm not sure that makes a lot of sense. It made sense when the, the town was small and that was the only area of town. Uh, this is kind of lacking and I'm not sure what's happening here. I think just we haven't had the time for these kids to go to school yet. And high schools, uh, okay, we have a bit of capacity here. And we've got probably enough here as well. So we have some decent capacity. I'm just kind of worried that if I, if I do put in a whole bunch more residential, we're not gonna have enough uh, capacity. So let's, let's think about future-proofing ourselves. And I wonder if we maybe just leave something something blank, or do we get in uh, something now? I'm, I'm kind of leaning on the side of putting something in now. The only question is where do we put it? We don't want it uh, near the other two high schools, which is going to be tough because here they are. They're basically um, in the right spots. So, you know, we're going to leave it for the high schools right now, and we're only going to put it in the elementary school. And the reason is I think those kids could probably fill up the capacity in the high school. Um, we'll, we'll just uh, see how it goes. So it's gonna be interesting for kids to uh, uh, live so close to the hotels, but uh, hey, interesting times. All right, so we've created a little bit of an elementary campus here. And before we put all the houses in here, we're gonna wanna make sure we uh, block this rail corridor again. So I'm gonna come in with our uh, amusement park fence, because, or zoo fence rather, which is pretty uh, 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 solid. You can't really see through it, so I like that idea. And we'll just come along and, uh, and follow the path of the, the train uh, tracks here. Okay, great, so we've given ourselves a little bit of a safety net here, a corridor where people can't try to cross the tracks or even get onto the tracks. And okay, why put an elementary school next to the train station? Or the train tracks? Well, it's probably just that the land is a little bit cheaper, right? So um, makes sense to me, I've got it away from the hotels and we've got this park across the street for the kids to use. Um, okay, let's get in some, uh, well actually before we do that, let's check our amenities and make sure that we have everything covered. So. Do we have elder care and child care? I think we do. We, we took care of that last episode. Uh, but let's just double check our fire coverage. We don't want disaster detection. We want fire safety. So uh, looking, looking not bad on that side. Uh, a few of these at the end here not doing too well. But you know we do have the fire helicopter depot over here, which ironically is not covering the buildings next to it. But hey, um, I think we're fine. Uh, we're fine for fire. Let's check our police coverage totally fine as well and what else might we need we might need a library I want to use a small one because it is oh what is this large elementary school it must be from one of these new uh, new packs that I got so that's pretty cool but let's see where it might make sense to get in the library we do have one over here one down here and one here and I'm going to put uh, one in uh, I wish it was a little bit more organized here I don't really want to um, get rid of all that usable space. Okay, now I think we can get in some uh, some residential here. And can I put this next to these hotels? Yes, the answer is yes, because if you notice, hotels don't actually create a lot of noise. I mean, they, they do have some, but I think the, um, the high density residential can handle it. These uh, leisure districts producing a lot more noise, hotels are not doing too bad, so. We're gonna go with it and we'll check on it, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be okay. And that's quite a lot of uh, zoning, uh, a lot of housing, so we're gonna leave it at that. And the next thing I'm gonna do is slowly, very carefully, very slowly, expand our hotels. And I'm doing it slowly because I do not want 
uh, than to complain about lack of visitors. So we'll go in here and we'll just uh, extend this block. Actually, before, before I move any further, um, I do want to uh, put a little fence in here, continue it all the way along, and we'll fix our zoning for these hotels here. And we'll even kind of block this off the back here. And we can remove those fences later once we've got our, our hotels in, but uh, at this point I want the maximum uh, zonable area, and so that's why we're using our fences here. And we'll even give them a, maybe a little bit more on this side, or should we wait? Yeah, I'm gonna wait till I figure out what I want to do with this block. So we're not actually gonna go any further there. Um, just checking that we we fixed all of our zoning on this side. Okay, and we've satisfied a lot of our our demand for uh, residential, so we'll let that run. What's next? So I did want to uh, rename our vineyards here and Millfields is definitely not a Nordic name. So uh, I did some Googling of, uh, of Nordic wines and I thought, oh, here's one that makes sense. And we'll call it Koppingsberg's Vineyard. And now one of the issues I mentioned at the start of this episode was that this industry uh, association, they're concerned. Look at this, their barns are full, full of what we'll call bottles of wine. Uh, and we've got to get rid of them. So it is time to start emptying some of these barns and it's going to create a lot of traffic, but that's quite all right. Uh, we want to start getting some of these to market as soon as possible because I can tell you, once these barns fill up and there's no more place to put the crops slash uh, grapes from these vineyards, uh, people are going to start complaining and these industries are going to start to, to have those uh, not enough buyer uh, icons and we're going to run into some trouble. So I'm going to start emptying them now and uh, you know what, yeah, we'll, we'll just do all of them and we'll see if we can create some capacity in these barns to, to store more but uh, I think we will do a little bit of processing uh, later in the episode. Uh, and so one other thing I wanted to do was let's check on our policies. There's one in particular that I want to enable, and that is the improved logistics. So what this does is it um, increases the storage capacity of extractors, AKA the, the farmlands, and the processing buildings by 20%. So they're gonna be able to store more uh, themselves, and we're gonna buy ourselves some time. It's gonna cost us 10% more, but that's okay. We're gonna buy ourselves some time for um, these guys starting to scream about not enough buyers for our products. And we're gonna fix that eventually when we have a cargo port. Um, later in the episode. The other thing I wanted to do is start uh, thinking ahead on some of our road capacity. And I can tell this is gonna be an important road. So we're gonna go right ahead and upgrade that. And you know what, while we're at it, we're also going to upgrade the road that circles the future nature reserve. Uh, just because I know that we're going to, to need that capacity. So we're gonna go all the way along and just upgrade this. And while we're at it, we're going to extend this frontage road all the way across. And I think, you know what, let's just go ahead and put in some of our processing buildings. Now, we don't have any kind of um, wine related uh, buildings, but we're gonna have to use our imagination. So we know that we've got uh, a number of extractor or uh, production refining buildings, which are here. Uh, we have the flour mill, we've got the cattle shed, uh, the milking parlor, and the slaughterhouse. Now I know the last two, the slaughterhouse, it's just way too huge and industrial looking. I, I don't want that in our, in our uh, quiet little uh, vineyard area. And the milking parlor, it's just there's too many cows, so that just you know breaks the illusion. Um, cattle shed, you know, when you put that down, it actually doesn't look that, uh, that much like a, a, a cattle shed. Let's uh, put that down and take a look at it, the flour mill. And before we do anything else, we wanna just extend this uh, industrial area just a little bit. And let's see how that looks. Could this realistically or believably be a wine processing facility? I think so. I think these towers look a bit like vats. They could be uh, fermenting wine. They could be uh, doing something wine related. So we're gonna run with it. And we're gonna get uh, a few in here. And the reason we're doing this is because we really do need some uh, processing capacity in this area. 
right now all of these farms they're looking for somewhere to sell their crops and the only way they can go we've got a policy to block traffic from going west they can only go down this road right and that's fine they're they're going to export to whichever processing buildings or, or um, airports or cargo harbors that they need to but I'd rather they start processing some of it locally so that we cut down on the traffic because it might get a little bit hairy. Now let's take a look at the other ones that I wanted to get in, which was the cattle shed. And I think this is eight units deep. Uh, is that eight? That's seven. Seven units deep. So we're gonna place our road accordingly. And we're gonna put these in behind here. Awesome, so that's gonna really help us uh, have somewhere to put those grapes slash crops and we leveled up that's awesome and we'll just finish up this road we'll give them some water and some power in fact I want to rethink this road because it doesn't really make sense there and you know given that these farms they don't make much noise the road does I don't think the farms do and I don't believe they make any pollution, although these do. And so this actually, we're gonna you know, do something maybe a bit strange, but we're going to stick a low density residential in between here. And the reason for that is because it's desirable land. So why not? Let's do it. In fact, I'm gonna delete this road because I do not want anybody, any of these trucks driving down here. We can avoid it and I wonder if one of the things we can do is put a policy in here that would be uh, no heavy truck traffic all right so what I've done there this to be zoned on this side, so we're gonna, we're gonna take that out. Um, and now I've given myself a challenge because obviously those nobody can build there if there's no road. So we'll actually turn this into a little bit of commercial, given that there's a lot of uh, traffic on this road. Uh, that'll, that'll be lots of business for these ones. And uh, we'll just keep this as our little residential area. And we'll even sneak in a little bit of a, another sliver here. All right, and I extended the district over here just so that we get the same uh, mid-century modern policy. And we're also giving the, the no heavy trucks traffic on this road. So no trucks are gonna be tempted to cut through here. Now we should have jumped the power and I see they're screaming for uh, water here. I'm not sure why, we must have a little bit of a, uh, a pocket that we missed, sure. That should take care of things. All right, so now all of the uh, crops slash grapes from this these farms can be dropped off in here and turned into more valuable uh, resources. So we're gonna keep an eye on how it's doing. If we look now at our info, we've got uh, 280 tons of grapes coming out of here, which is amazing. And we're leveling up, um, which is nice. One thing I did wanna do is reduce some of the pollution here. So if we go into our our farming industry and we go on to the auxiliary buildings and we look at our maintenance building uh, we've got an opportunity to put one in here and we're gonna break the power I wonder if it would fit better no it won't fit there okay come to think of it let's take a look at this building here our farm main building and how's it doing for noise okay it's a bit noisy is it polluting it's not I guess it can stay, but I kind of want to move it down uh, only because it sneaks in really nice here. And it would probably make sense to give a little bit more commercial in this area. And we can also plop in that maintenance building, which um, gives us storage capacity of industrial buildings by 5%. Awesome. and. Uh, we know also that it reduces the pollution in this area, so that'll be good. We'll put one in there. Now, what I'm not gonna do is put in any barracks, at least not for now. I wanna make sure that we have enough, um, just to get some of these lines. I wanna make sure that we have enough capacity uh, to export all of this stuff before we start putting in our 
barracks because barracks increase the efficiency of every output building, right? And we don't want to increase our efficiency until we know we can get all this stuff off the island, right? Uh, now these guys are looking for water. Let's see what's going on here. Great, and I think we're gonna leave this vineyard alone now. Uh, I think actually one more thing I wanted to do was put in a, another little subdivision over here. All right, I think we'll leave it at that for the vineyards. And uh, we're gonna give them now uh, some export opportunities. Uh, but before we do that, let's focus on our tourists. Let's uh, start working on this passenger port, the cruise ship port. And we're gonna put that right in here. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of uh, grading and some reclamation of the sea, but I think it's gonna work uh, pretty great. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to rethink this uh, part of the beach here. Uh, unfortunately, I, I cut it a little close to the road and it's starting to, we're starting to lose some zoning here. I wanna be able to maintain the zoning. So uh, you know, I think we're okay actually to put in this light uh, commercial map now. And but we might have to rethink some of it on this side because it's the, the trees are encroaching. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all this. Amazing, and that way we can get a road to tie into here somewhere. I would have liked for this junction to be uh, the same junction, but I don't think that's realistic. So, how are we gonna do it here? Let's take a look. Now, I know I don't want this this marina, this, uh, this area here, this cargo port, or rather this passenger port, to be too high, because once you plop down a marina or something like that, it looks ridiculous if it's too high. So, I wanna only give this um, about three meters. And if we count one, two, three, we're gonna pick that by right clicking there. And I'm gonna come out uh, just, just as far as the, the railway track. Come all the way along. Get rid of this little hill here. So we don't need that. Try not to adjust the, uh, the beach too, too much. If we come out to here, I think we'll, we'll be just fine. We'll give it a little bit extra. Okay, and now I want to run a road along here, and I want it to be, we're gonna need our guidelines to line up with the train tracks. Now I want to give it an exact amount of distance. So I want to give it um, four, so that we have, so there, there's our four units. And that way, we're gonna be able to put two, ro two units worth of commercial in here for a little, uh, uh, I don't know, like a bar area. And then the rest is gonna be this, this unfortunate uh, grade here. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll tree that in, I think. And I'm not sure how far we're gonna go, so I'm just gonna come all the way out. And then I want to leave one unit here for a pathway on this, this uh, south side of the road. And then I want to put in our key wall. So I'm going to uh, put the key wall in first. I think that should allow me to get both our uh, cruise ship terminal and a pathway in here. So, uh, but first things first, we've got to connect this road up. Now I recognize this is a bit of a crazy situation with all the junctions, but I think it's going to be okay because this is not going to be a terribly busy road for cars. And we're going to give them a little bit of an extra outlet here. And then the next thing I want to do is actually build a little bit of a, a jetty, a little bit of water that, or a little bit of land that comes out here into the water. However, I do not want to muck up the pathway for the ships, so we really can't come out that far. And so I'm gonna just eyeball this and go back here, grab my uh, level terrain tool and come out just a bit. Just maybe, uh, maybe to there. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna give us separation from the passenger harbor and the cargo harbor, which will be on this side. And if I'm really precise, I think we can make this beautiful. Nice and level, I think our beach is at a nice height. And now we're gonna get a little bit more of a uh, key wall in here. I'm gonna go, try and go at a 45 degree angle here, uh, which, which might be tricky. So we'll just have to put in a tick of wall here. Try to get the guideline. That's not quite, it should be at 135. So that's a 45 degree angle. And now I think we can back that off and, and reconnect that. 
And what I want to do is actually circle this around, kind of curve it. I'm going to go out five and come five again. I'm hoping that'll do the trick. And now we can get in, we can get a row that actually goes parallel. In fact, let's try to put in our, I think we better put in our, um, our cargo harbor first. And what I'm going to do is just back that off. And hopefully this will be perfect. Let's see. Will it let me connect? I think it doesn't like this road, so we're gonna come out to here. Unfortunately, we've got... Uh, the key wall here is, is mucking up our direction, so I'm gonna have to put this back. And then we can, we can take uh, this out and this out. And we have our road in the right position, and ideally, if I just mess with it just a little bit. It's giving me a hard time. Interesting. You can see that road's off just ever so slightly. And I wonder if it might be okay. Let's just check our zoning for a second. We've still got our four tiles, although we have lost our, our zoning on this side. And I'm actually not sure anymore whether we can get that road uh, that that walking path in here so I might just play with this just a little bit more so we got it it's not perfect uh, but I think we can live with that and in fact I think what we're gonna do see I really want to get my my walking path in here and that requires that we have at least one square this side between the road and the key wall so hmm will it even let me okay so I think we got a bit lucky and we can probably make this work if we use the the line of the road that's uh, attached to this uh, uh, this cargo port and or this passenger port so here we go some pipes here and I want to turn this into a real tourist area so I'm not sure why that train stopped okay why do we have a backlog here I wonder looks like we just have a whole ton of trains waiting at the station this is unexpected okay we definitely have some uh, capacity issues on the line Wow, okay, so that tells me that we need some higher capacity vehicles. And I think um, we're gonna go quite high. We're gonna go with the commuter train. And that I think gives us something like 400 per train. Um, okay, this train's gonna disappear. Anyway, hopefully that solves that problem. You can see we're already having a none of goods to sell issue. And that's the whole, well, that's part of the reason we're putting in this car report today. And of course I made the mistake of putting in two of these guys, so no refund for me, too bad. All right, but the next thing we wanna do is turn this into a bit of a, uh, a marina area. And so before we do that, I wanna just level out some of the seabed. So that serves a function in the game, which is to help us get level, um, amenities when we place them here they're not going to pop up because there's some weird uh, terrain underneath the water and uh, also you know we're we're uh, dredging out the harbor so that uh, big river ships can get in here so not exactly a game mechanic but it's something to think about when uh, we're talking about realism all right um, while we're waiting for that water to calm down why don't we get in here with our fences again and we're going to um, uh, see there's our there's our commuter train look at that double decker 400 still wow okay so these are these are filling up which is great i love to see that uh, our public transit is being used uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that to make sure that we have uh, adequate capacity back to our fences We've got water all the way up here so we're actually gonna have to wait but we can do the other side i believe we cannot we're still struggling with a little bit of water 
And I think what I might have done here is created a depression. We'll have to check our uh, our terrain here. Yeah, I think we've got we went a little bit too too crazy here. So we'll try to fix this back up and let this water get out of here. We might have a problem with this road here, and I'm thinking I might just back it off. Yeah, it's it's gone a little bit crazy. I'm not sure I can get the terrain back here. So let's just see if we can fix that. Okay, it's being really silly. I'm not sure why it's uh, dropped down to that level. Uh, but hopefully we can get that back in. And we'll have to come over here and fix some of this as well. Now what I want to do on the back side of this road is not a, not a key wall, but actually just some rocks for some decorative effects. So we're going to go in here, we're going to look at our bigger rocks see what we can get in. All right, I think that's pretty cool. And let's see what kind of amenities do we want to get in here. And, and by the way, can I get my path in? Let's do these guys first. Let's go into the uh, tourism specific assets. We have a fishing pier. I think that makes sense. In fact, I think it might make sense to get it on this side. Um, and before I forget, I wonder if it makes a lot of sense to put in a ferry pier as well. I'm not sure we're going to use it right away, but it does sort of um, seem like something that would go in here. And so I wonder if we're going to have to back this road off, and I know it's going to create some problems, so um, that's okay. We'll take a stab at it. Okay, and we've popped up here, and that's, that's really annoying. I, I just... Uh, it's one of the annoyances of the base game here, the vanilla game. So if I want to fix this, the only thing I can really do is go underwater here and start to smooth out some of this again. And I'm hoping it won't mess up any of my uh, above ground stuff, but I'm just going to have to be a little bit careful here. Yeah, I'm not sure how successful we're going to be here, but um, let's give it a try. And we may just have to play with it a little bit. That is definitely not any better, so we might actually have to delete this entirely and um, possibly wait for some of this water to settle. So I'm going to come back to that and let's put our road back in here. Now I'd love to continue my zoo path in here, but I don't believe that it's going to fit. So let's, let's just check that out actually. I don't think it fits in this. No, it's too tight. So we got to go with the... Um, I don't even think the pavement path will work, will it? Oh, it does. Okay, so we'll, we'll do pavement, and that's not too terrible. Uh, an idea. We go right up to the edge of the road so we don't get any of that weird, uh, jagged, this kind of thing that we're trying to hope to avoid, but that's okay. Uh, I don't love that they've put extra um, street lights there, but actually that's fine. It kind of matches up with the, uh, the cargo harbor here, or the uh, passenger harbor. And let's continue that. Uh, motif here. I wonder if we can just upgrade this. We can. All right, and let's see if we can what we can do about getting this ferry back in here. Yeah, you can see there's there's something odd happening here, and I'm not sure what the solution is. I don't think it's water, is it? It might be the water just kind of settling itself still. I should probably stop messing with this uh, so that the water can kind of chill out. But uh, let's try, if we get the road to flatten out, then that tells me we're doing something good. And now, of course, we've got a problem because the key wall doesn't like us. So I'll try again from scratch here. I wonder if I can come a little closer. Yeah, you can see the water sort of settling there, so we're gonna have to just wait, probably. Now we've got a flat road, which tells me we're probably in good shape to get this thing in here. Fifth time's a charm, right? It's not as bad as it was. It's still pretty terrible, and I'm, I'm really wishing for movement right now. Uh, but I don't think I want to take a, another attack at this, so we're just gonna do what we can. Not my favorite uh, part of the build, but I think we can live with that. We'll wait for this water to calm down and see if we can sneak in our paths here.
Great, so what can we get in here? We can do fishing tours, we can do a jet ski rental, we can do uh, perhaps a couple of marinas. Uh, I like the whole idea of, of this, so let's see what, what we can get in here. Uh, marina, and uh, jet ski rental, that's pretty tiny. I wonder if the fishing tour would, would fit better in here. Uh, if we sneak that on the side here, or even this side. No, I think we'll put it on this side. It's a little bit tight, but uh, I think we're, we're making it work. Kind of looks uh, believable at this stage. And uh, I'm, I'm tempted to mess with this just a little bit more to get it to go lower, but uh, I, I don't think it's a good idea. So um, if there's one other thing we want to do, it's maybe uh, level this beach out a little bit. Okay, and now we're gonna have a bit of ongoing issues with water, but uh, I think we've done a good job here. We've, uh, we've snuck in most of the things we want to. There was one other uh, park tourism asset here. It was the fishing pier. I don't know, have we used that already? We, we have the restaurant pier down here, but it seems to me it might make sense to put in a, a fishing pier. And I just don't want to get too, too close. Yeah, see this this is a major uh, route here and we put the ferries. So I don't think we have any choice but to put it on the left side of this, uh, this terminal here. And we can sneak that as far away as we want uh, because, oh. Uh, because then it brings us actually closer to the the main action. So yeah, I think this is looking good And now we want this to become a bit of a tourist area people not just for people to get off a ship and walk down uh, down this way, but uh, to actually get in some amenities and that looks like well, it looks like this We're gonna get in a little bit more commercial here. And you know, while we're doing this, we're going to extend our district. And we want this district, which is uh, a pizza Ford, to continue because this is our, our leisure uh, district. Okay, and now we can put in a little bit of commercial. wonder if I upgrade this, am I gonna get a few more squares? Let's hope. Yeah, we did, great. Just what I was hoping for. And you know what, while we're here, uh, Tulane Road with Median, okay, what else do we have? I think we're gonna have buses going down this road, which is uh, maybe worth finding a bus lane road that goes in here. Mm, I don't think we have one that's it's going to be appropriate because I definitely want to keep the trees. I don't want a blank slate there. Um, so this this two lane median road with trees, I think it's going to suit us nicely. It's going to allow us to continue our palm tree motif all the way along. I'm only going two because we do have a bit of a, um, a hill here and I don't want big buildings to spawn. And you'll notice I'm not extending the road out this way because I want to keep a separation between this passenger harbor and what's going to become a new uh, cargo harbor. And so one more thing I wanted to do, you know, there's an opportunity just at the end here to, to put a little bit of um, decoration. It's just a little interesting place that the locals come to and they have their little uh, hamburger and, and a seat and watch the, the ginormous cruise ships come in and uh, okay so how are we doing on our on our passenger port one thing I neglected to do is connect our ferry line so we'll quickly do that Okay, and now I'm not sure how many people are going to want to take a ferry out here, given that it's probably going to be the slowest way to get here. But um, we might as well have a, a line and just see how it goes. And we'll take people to the airport so they can fly in and have their little vacation. And we'll go into our lines overview. And we're going to have to do something about the, the, the ferry lines in this town because they are not, uh, not very well organized. And we'll make that a, a sort of aquamarine. And we'll call this the uh, uh, Hamelvik Airport Line. 
We've got four vehicles, which is probably too many. I think we'll drop this down to 50%. Oh, that's actually five vehicles, okay. Yeah, we'll drop this down to four. That should, should do it. Um, and uh, how are we looking? Yeah, I like that. This is a really cool little marina area. This is, uh, buildings are popping up. Uh, I can suspect we're gonna have a lot of uh, people uh, coming in and out of here. And how are we doing for our, our passenger terminal? It is coming, it is coming. Okay, great. And now we're giving the hotels a lot more business. Great, so we have our passenger terminal. Now we want to put a cargo terminal on this side and what we want to do is, you know, I've lowered the beach on this side but we really don't need to worry about lowering the beach on the other side. I want this to be level with uh, the existing roads. So we're actually going to put the, the train back up to this height, which is well, about six meters. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to leave uh, a little bit of space from the train track. And in fact, uh, in order that we're not reclaiming too much land, we're actually going to move this train track a little bit. So um, here we go. So I'm coming here and I'm going to go with um, all of my uh, snaps on. And I'm coming out, I'm leaving two grid squares between the rail line and the road because I know that's the minimum that I can do if I want to have a, a road crossing this direction. If you're too close you just cannot uh, have them cross. So we're gonna go as far as this straight node we'll do our old uh, curve track trick here. I'll have to eyeball it just a little bit. I think that's fine. And I guess we're gonna extend this one a little bit further and curve it in. All right, we've, we've reconnected that line so we can start the game again. And I'm gonna come in with my industrial roads now. And we're likely gonna one-way this, but for now we'll just design it with, with double directions. And I'm gonna pick this node, which is straight, and I wanna leave, I think it's six. I think I wanna leave six uh, squares because I wanna get um, some warehouses in here. It makes sense to me to put warehouses in a cargo uh, area. So we're just going to bring this out about that direction. And I don't want to waste any uh, space. So I wonder if we want to uh, connect that. Now, notice this is a little bit wonky. You see the zoning here? It's not quite uh, parallel all along. So I'm going to have to break that off a bit. I'm going to come all the way back. And we'll go back into our six lane roads, our arterial here and come up to that node with the rail. Yeah, now our zoning's fixed. Now we can use our curve track, curve road, to uh, get back in here, fix that up. And we can take our industrial road and cross this track at this uh, level. And I'm gonna bring this, uh, I'm not sure how far I wanna go, but we're just basically measuring right now. And the name of the game here is I want to get in a, um, a key wall. And so we're going to bring that in here. Nothing fancy. We don't want to leave really any space. We can come all the way up to, uh, to, the, to the road here. And I think that should be perfect. I don't think if we want to go a little bit farther, no, I don't think we want to leave that kind of space. So we're just going to go um, to that node and I don't want to break my, my rocks. So we'll back this up just a little bit. And all right, here's the question. We're putting warehouses in here, but where exactly do we want them to go? Now I know that I want one warehouse directly across from the cargo port because that's going to be storing goods. We can run this again. Uh, so let's think about this. I want to come off from here. I want to come off seven. So we're gonna have to kill some of these road guidelines. We've got uh, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go one more so that I can get the road. Uh, and that might be, yeah, no, that, that's gonna be perfect. We want six, we definitely want six. So this can come straight, but um, until I back this off. And yeah, it's gonna really be tricky. Uh, if we put the road guidelines back on, we should be able to, to do it, although, I might have to wipe out the, the key wall first in order to do that. It's just a bit of a process, but uh, you know, it does make intuitive sense once you understand what is actually going on. 
now we are able to put the key wall back in. And again, I'm gonna go as far as I can. Okay, so we're gonna go over to our industrial tab and the warehouses. And I like this one. This is really cool. So this this will be six, and for some reason it's not letting me get exactly two. Okay, there, that's better. That's better. So we put one in there. We'll put one in here. And I'm gonna want one more. So that's that's wonderful. Now, already I know that we can put in here, uh, this is gonna be uh, empty, and this one's gonna be flour. This one is gonna be empty as well because we wanna export these resources as fast as possible, right? We want them we want them filling up as soon as possible by pulling resources out of our out of our industrial area over here, but we also want it to be um, uh, selling. So animal products is the other one because our cattle shed produces animal products. And then this one, we are gonna go fill and we're gonna go goods. Why is that? Because I bet you Okay, it's gonna make me a liar, but I bet you eventually these hotels are gonna start screaming for goods. And I noticed there's a hotel that populated on this side. That was not supposed to happen, so it tells me we've got a little bit of an issue with our zones. So we're gonna just have to extend this a bit over here. Let's go all the way along and make sure we're not uh, populating any hotels on this side. Now that hotel should go away. We need to do any other fixes here. Just widen that up. Okay, we don't want to see hotels on that side of the road. There's one more here. And if I delete this, delete this, that should come back with some kind of entertainment uh, area and uh, buildings. Now, I love the way this is turning out. Look at this. This is a really cool little area where you've got all your tourists coming in off the cruise ships and there's these these comedy clubs and little places to uh, to have a drink or a bite to eat and then you end up at this uh, at the ferry terminal and you can go deeper into the city on a scenic tour or you just come out to the edge of the, the pier here and have a little burger and uh, and a beer maybe so really cool really loving that but anyway let's get back to our cargo area and we want to connect another road up here and actually want to get you know I might have been premature in plopping these down I got to get the, the actual um, the actual uh, cargo uh -huh. see we're gonna have a little trouble here I want to get the actual cargo port down in here first so uh, what I'm gonna do is just adjust this one more time and hope that my uh, my arrangements work this is always tricky, demolishing uh, roads next to, next to key walls, but it should work. If, if my brain works okay, this will work, and there's no guarantees. So let's see if we can go into our ships tab, and we'll plop in our regular old cargo harbor. Yeah, it works. It works. Hey, I got lucky. And hopefully now we can connect back up our, our road. And you know what I'm gonna do is we're gonna convert this to a one way. And we can run this, there's no reason we can't run this. Um, and then put in the road, should work, yep, okay. Okay, so now we have a place for our uh, our trucks to unload things. And this is, this is for all intents and purposes basically across from the road, so it's filling commercial zones Ships should come here and drop off uh, commercial zones from, well, frankly, outside the region because we're not producing that many internally. And um, of course, we gotta make sure they can get out here. And then they should be able to cross the road and just be able to um, drop some of this stuff uh, into, this, into this warehouse. And, you know, because we're asking it to fill, yes, we're gonna be spending a lot of money, so we'll probably be losing money for a while. Um, but once we're full, we should have a steady stream of goods for all of this area, and we shouldn't get any of those uh, annoying um, notifications that there's a problem. So, uh, what do we need here? Water. I think we're powered. Yes, it jumped, which is awesome. And I think we can do, <clears throat> what? Let's check this out. I think what we're gonna do is just actually delete this section. We don't need that road 
We're gonna leave the beach intact, um, but we will do a bit of uh, dredging. And that's gonna cause a massive tsunami when it uh, fills back in. But basically what we've done is we've created a deeper, deeper water port and we've given ourselves uh, a little bit of space here. Now, I can tell already with so many trains coming down this track and they of course have priority, we're gonna give ourselves a trouble for these guys to get out. So we need a solution to that. And let's just check where they're actually going. Yeah, so they're all returning to these various uh, facilities in order to, um, I guess, pick up more goods to drop off at the, at the harbor. Some of them are dropping local deliveries and uh, I'm actually wondering why there should be a no truck policy here, but those might be the smaller delivery trucks, so I'm not not too worried about that. I don't see any major you know, tractor trailers on that, uh, that road, so that's fine. Um, but what we do need to do is, um, A, let's do a bit of detailing. And let's figure out why there's, I'm hoping that clears, but we just better make sure that we're not in a depression here. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. I think that water's gonna clear. We probably could use a pumping station at some point, but uh, c'est la vie. All right, so we've got um, an opportunity to fix up our fences here. Extend this one all the way out. We want angle on. And we can actually put in another safety fence on the other side. We don't know what we're gonna put on that side, but uh, it's likely gonna be commercial, I guess, if, um, if there's so much noise in this area. And, all right, now, are these filling up? Slowly they will. Uh, but as I said, we've got now a backlog because these trains are blocking. So we need a solution. What's that solution? I think it's going to be a tunnel. This is our nature reserve area. I don't want to start digging it up. Uh, I mean, at least not ab above ground. So what we're going to do is put in a another road. And I'm not sure if maybe a four lane road is necessary, but uh, we'll, we'll start with a two and see how it goes. Try to grab a 45 degree angle and go down. And let's see if we can loop this around. Now we should avoid blocking this uh, this traffic here. Love how much traffic there is, but we gotta do something to fix this. So we're all one ways and uh, unfortunately everyone's trying to take the same lane. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on this. Traffic, yeah, it's getting hairy. And nobody is as yet taking this. And so we're gonna have to figure out why that is. So we might give it a minute to let them, uh, to let them just figure out that that is an opportunity. <clears throat> and if not, if they don't do it, we might have to just delete this road entirely. Which wouldn't be realistic in real life. You'd have to have an above ground road, I think. But um, I wonder if we can make this faster and then, and then in that way, I uh, encourage them to use it. So let's uh, let's try that. So my theory is that now that that's a faster speed limit, they should prioritize this road that's underground. Uh, if they don't, it means it's just still shorter to go this way. Uh, but we can figure that out. And in fact, um, let's just mess with some junctions. And we don't need a light there. In fact, we, we want this to flow. We just want it all to flow. Um, and, and this is fine. What we're gonna do is, eh, I think it's fine. I think we'll leave it. Definitely don't need a light there. Probably don't need a stop sign there. Okay, and let's get in just a little bit more uh, detailing here. So I think we've got an opportunity to put, uh, we've got literally zero demand for offices. So that's unfortunate. This is because we keep building so much. Yeah, I see people taking that, that tunnel there, that's great. We keep building so much industrial uh, zone. So we're just getting a little bit of commercial here. And I wonder if we want maybe just another bit of it here. I don't want actually big buildings. We're gonna just take that back a bit. Um, but this is just, you know, a place for people to, um, to hang out or maybe it's um, some service type of, uh, of commercial zones that, that serves the ports. Maybe it is the offices for the, uh, for the, the cargo port. We'll pretend. And then let's get a, another fence back here because we do not want 
uh, people from the tourist area jumping into the port. We want to kind of secure a security fence, and I think there's one that in particular that will work best, and that's the oil industry. Is it oil industry? No. Yeah, oil industry. Yeah, with the with the nice spikes on the top of the uh, the top of the fence to give people a no no question about what uh, what they should do here, which is stay out, right? Okay, so we'll put that all the way along as far as we can go. And uh, yeah, the spikes are facing the right way. Cool, I like it. All right, and uh, I might even come up just a bit further. Yeah, I'm gonna need to monitor this traffic. I love that we do have some people, in fact, looks like most people using this, so this should clear pretty quickly. This should do, do well. And I wanna jump back into our vineyard area here and see how are our barns doing? We've set these to empty, but really there's they have not been emptying, and I wonder if that's because we just haven't had a cargo port. So I'm hoping to start seeing these empty a little faster. They're still only about 80%, which means these guys shouldn't be complaining just yet. Uh, now this road's getting a little hectic and that's gonna be a problem. So I wonder if it's time to upgrade that to a four lane. Let's do it. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna leave the port here. In fact, before we before we step away from this, uh, let's just do a bit of detailing and make it beautiful. Okay, well, I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool. I um, I'm liking the way that looks. It's uh, you know it's nicely divided off from the the commercial area. So. You know, if you come into the, the port area, which is bustling by the way, you don't really see any of the industrial stuff. If you're at ground level here, um, you're you're seeing maybe some cranes in the background, but really it just kind of looks like a very uh, typical tourist area. Love the heights here, guys. Congratulations on that. Looking good. Wish I had moved it, but uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, and even if you come over here, I mean, you can't really see the port. So I like the way we've kept the industrial stuff, you know, the sort of, the stuff working in the background is just working in the background. It's not um, its not something you'd see normally. And even if, if you're coming in on the train, sure, you're gonna see it, but uh, eventually I think we're gonna probably put in a, a few more buildings on this, this end. In fact, you know, speaking of which, we do have some residential uh, demand, and I think it would be very smart to, to start to, to feed some of that. I'm gonna check our parks to make sure we have enough love in this area. Yeah, we've got two two parks. Well, playground and a park in this area, and uh, I think it would be fine to just fill this in with uh, with uh, uh, residential. However, let's check our uh, elementary. We're only half capacity here. I think that's great. We've also got another uh, high school summer. Here it is. Auto save. And here it is, we've got, yeah, still lots of capacity. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, perhaps it's just too far from over there to get there. Now, one thing I did want to do, which I'm noticing now, um, I want a road in here. I want, uh, I want to make sure we're taking advantage of all this usable land. Yeah, and there we're giving ourselves just a little bit more uh, zonable land. So uh, let's see if we get the rest of this in. In fact, before I zone that there, I'm gonna check the noise from the hospital. I think it's okay. I think we can live with that. Um, this, however, we cannot live with. This was dumb. I, I should not have uh, zoned residential right next to a busy train and bus station. So, um, in fact, I'm not even sure why I zoned uh, on this side. So we're gonna take that uh, out at least to there. In fact, I think one more building, because uh, they will start complaining. And we'll go up this far as well. We'll keep running it and we'll, we'll fix this up with commercial, I think that would be smarter. We still got plenty of residential demand, so we're going to, uh, to capitalize on it. I'm not sure why in the middle here there's no zoning, but uh, it is what it is. So we'll just see if we can get uh, as much residential in here as possible. Okay, how do we feel about this? Why is there a, oh, there's a blank spot here because we moved our, uh, our clinic. So we'll fill that back in. 
And let's take a peek around. How, how do we feel about this? So we've, uh, we've extended just slightly our hotel uh, strip. We've got this beautiful skyline in there. We've got a new little port area for our cruise ships and we've got another port area for the, um, for the cargo. Now it is significantly trafficked, but uh, I think we're doing okay. I think th there's no real significant backups. Yes, it's red. Traffic flow is still over 80. That's my barometer. And um, I can see people stopping here. Are they trying to turn left? Why is that not a priority of the road anymore? Just, just change that. Um, yes, so I guess the problem is there's not enough capacity here. So in order to sort of band-aid solution that, we're going to come in here <clears throat> and we're going to look for our, I think it's, there's a four lane one way road. We're going to upgrade just to give people a little bit more area to stop. We might as well bring this all the way down. Great. Okay, and you know what? Same on the out, on the outside. We'll give them a few more turning lanes. Um, and uh, yeah, now, now they can sort of file in here a little bit deeper and uh, park and while they're waiting to get into there. All right, what's next? I think we've done a great job on our uh, areas over here, but we we have a service campus a service campus area that we haven't done much with in a while. And um, I think we're gonna need to add a few more um, a few more amenities here. So what do we want? We have no park uh, maintenance area in here. And that's something I definitely want to get in. So if we go over to the park maintenance area, we'll see which way this building is oriented. It is that direction. So we'll come in here with another industrial road. Now, I have thought about moving this to the left a bit, everything to the left, but and in order to put a train track through here and possibly a, a rail, uh, rail depot for cargo, you know, we could do what we've got here with the roads and put a, um, a tunnel underneath, connect it up to our cargo, uh, network very easily but I don't think we're gonna do that I don't think it's necessary with our new port probably if we if worse comes to worse we put in a second port so we're not gonna adjust uh, the, the, uh, the orientation here we're just gonna put in one more road here and get in our park maintenance and I think we're also going to want to put in uh, a couple more things and those couple more things are, first of all, we're going to adjust our biofuel bus depot and we're going to come and we're going to put in a road maintenance uh, depot here, which will, should fit nicely there, it does. And we're going to check how's our recycling capacity. Uh, it's half full. We're processing, our trucks are fine, but I think just in order to future-proof this, we are going to put one more recycling center in here. Now, in a, in a very soon episode, we're going to need to start to get off the recycling centers and onto like a real garbage processing system. So um, that, that's coming. Now, the other thing I wanted to do in this area, we gotta give them a back door. This is a cul-de-sac and that won't do if there's an emergency. So we're gonna put a road through here and eventually we will we'll pave this and adjust it slightly. But uh, uh, the other thing I wanted to do is one more um, what do you call it? A warehouse. And that should sneak nicely. Eh, let's put it right here. It fits. And we're going to put this again to fill. And we're filling it up with commercial zone goods because I really don't want to run out. So what this is going to do, it's going to start attracting, it's going to put out the call for a lot of goods trucks to come drop stuff off here. They're going to be able to come uh, from the industrial area over here, from the port, from the cargo airport, and uh, they're going to be able to drop off stuff and fill it up. Might take a while, but we'll let it run. And that way we're not going to have any of these buildings clamoring for um, clamoring for goods. So far so good. I'm actually surprised that it hasn't uh, complained yet. I'm wondering what's going on here. Abandoned why? Not enough workers. Okay, so we have satisfied some of that residential demand. I think it should be fine. We'll see if there are any uh, other abandoned buildings. Uh, I'm thinking shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. We do have a little shortage of workers here. Um, at least it's not shortage of educated workers because that would mean that we have a problem with our educational system. All right, um, what else? We added our warehouse, our road and park maintenance, recycling. 
the, you know, before we wrap up this episode, there's just one more thing I want to do, and that's look at our uh, transportation lines. So we saw earlier that our our trains were packed to the gills, so we switched them out uh, on this line for these beautiful commuter trains. Let's see how we're doing all along. Uh, so we do have a backup here. This is in uh, the, the community of New Kiev, which we created uh, a couple episodes back. And you know what? I think because we have 400 capacity, it's gonna be fine. This is the end of the line. Everyone's getting off here. Not concerned. Uh, if we go down the line, we're you know less than we're about a fifth full, half full, half full. Really, I think we might have gone overkill on this. Okay, there are a couple stations here with some some uh, some uh, some backups. And I know this station, it's a problem. It's going to continue to be a problem until I add some more platforms and because we've got two lines intersecting here. This is a transfer station. So of course it's busy, it's backed up, you can see trains waiting here. But I think we're actually okay. I'm gonna just, you know what, I'm actually gonna back this off and, and hopefully that will actually uh, reduce some of the backlog. We have a little bit more, fewer trains here. So we'll go to nine and we'll, yeah, we'll just go to 100%. We'll see how that does. And I want to look at our bus line as well. So if we go in here and we check out our Homovic line, and one of these days very soon, I'm going to do a whole episode just on transit and we're going to be optimizing our transit network. But let's look at our buses and we can, there's no reason we can't run this. How are we doing? Um, I see a little bit of backlog here, which is this uh, main station. And I see some here, but that's downtown. Yeah, it's downtown Homovic, right where all the tourist action is. So it looks like we they're asking for more buses, maybe two more buses. And this one's also busy. Oh, that's interesting. This is, um, okay, I, I yeah, all right. See, I see a, something, an opportunity here. Let's go into our bus uh, tools here <clears throat> and actually adjust the route because we've added some, some places where we might want to visit. So if we have one stop there, that's fine. But we're going to want to bring this out and put it right in front of the, uh, the, the harbor. And I'm thinking we're fine to go up this road, aren't we? Yeah, we, we do want to go to where people are working. And so we will take it. Uh, actually, I'm rethinking that now. I wonder if it makes sense to actually, we'll put one stop in front of this employment at the corner and we'll pull this through here and we'll hit a little bit more employment and we'll go actually a little bit more up we'll hit this and now we're coming around and I think if we want to put a stop here that would be smart um, okay what, what, is, what is happening there we go and this one we're gonna to move to the opposite side and we're gonna drag a stop over here. Drag this stop here. Uh, this one can come out uh, on this side. And we do want one more stop on in front of here. Uh, I don't like the way that that's not symmetrical, so we're just gonna come here. Okay, how are we doing on this line? We don't need to really pull any of this out, I don't believe. Um, we're coming through here, which is great. We've got to stop this end, this end, bus stop. Unfortunately, there's this loop because buses can only turn right. And one here, here. Yeah, this looks. This is looking good. I like this. Now let's check our traffic and note where the bus lines are. Check our traffic and see. Yeah, see, there's there's some uh, uh, heaviness here. So we're gonna upgrade this to a bus uh, lane. What else? A little bit here. I think that's where our buses are going, so we're gonna upgrade that. Might as well upgrade this on this side as well. Check our lines again, right? So here, I think probably we're pretty fine uh, through here. Back to our bus lines down here. We're a little bit heavy, but I think we can manage. And ooh, here it's getting pretty hairy. So let's see, um, is it, 
well, it's not worth upgrading this to a bus lane because then we lose a lane for the trucks. Why this is so heavy, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see what people are doing. I'm pretty sure that's because they're still emptying. Yeah, see this has gone from about 85 to 70. And some of these I'm guessing are the same. These are really dumping trucks onto the road. They probably have all trucks in use, yes. And I see we have a worker shortage uh, in this area, so that's something we'll have to address. Um, and uh, you know, we've got lots of residential demand. We're gonna make sure we, uh, we take care of that in a future episode as well. But uh, uh, for now, I think we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll leave that. Um, I'm happy. Yes, this looks great. I am super happy. It, it needs some tweaks. Uh, oh, 200 extra university students. That's awesome. It tells me we're moving in the right direction. We've got almost 81,000 population. Um, uh, oh, uh, I guess, you know, one thing we'll want to do before we quit is uh, go into our... Uh, these these guys. In fact, can I get from here? Yes, I think so. Um, we're gonna go into our tours and see how do we do with our walking tours? Are they actually picking up anybody? Where might this be? Okay, that's that's uh, Foggy Gardens in the town of Torrance Square. So that's fine. Doing well there. Um, walking to four, yeah. So this one is the, I guess you could call this um, north end, north end of the island. So we'll call this Hummelvik North End, and go to the next one, which uh, I'm guessing that's also Hummelvik. It's not. This is uh, Trondheim Park. Trondheim Nature Reserve. This one is, um, okay, this is downtown Hummelvik. And this is Hummelvik uh, South End. Let's check out our budget and see how much money we're bringing in. So it used to be 300, we're at 480. So I guess what that's telling me is that these tours are not very profitable. We're still losing about the same amount of money. Um, let's check out one last thing, which is the, um, the bus tour that we created. And um, that should be number two, which is uh, back in Homovic. Uh It is not very well trafficked. We're seeing very f low utilization. So we could probably drop this down to two buses. Yeah, we're going to see how that goes. And we're going to drop this to uh, 15. Uh, cells? Is it cells per ticket? And we'll see if that actually generates more more tourists on this line. You know, it was a little experiment. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing that it's really worth doing the bus tours or the walking tours. But uh, I like I like that we tried it. You can only try, right? Well, here we are. We are um, we now have two ports in the island of Hamilvik, and it's bringing a lot more people and it's allowing us to get more goods out of here. So you can see we've got uh, passengers coming in, being dropped off. While, while I'm thinking of it, we're calling this um, Hamilvik Harbor and um, <clears throat> Hamilvik Cargo Harbor, just so that we know where the boats are going when we click on them. And uh, yeah, we're gonna leave it here. So I, thanks for watching uh, this far, I really appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Uh, I wish I could do more, but life has just been so busy lately. Uh, there's lots of fun stuff coming, including a dark sky preserve, some nature reserves, and uh, just uh, really filling up the rest of the usable space on this island of Hamelvik. And uh, I'm having a blast. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. And if you want to get notifications about when I put out new content, please hit that little notification bell and subscribe. And uh, thanks so much for watching and enjoy a brief city tour.